This video is sponsored by Skillshare. I bought nine broken Nintendo handheld game consoles to see if I could fix them. I've already seen a couple that are in here and I'm pretty excited about it. Let me show you what I got. So here we have the first one. It's a Nintendo DS Lite. This one actually had a charger that was in the bag as well. So that's kind of cool, assuming the charger works. And the inside, actually this one is in really nice condition. It definitely needs some cleaning. But overall, this one's in pretty good condition. I'm gonna go through and take a look at each one, and then once we're done looking at them, we'll try and turn them on. Number two is this Nintendo 2DS XL. It definitely is dirty. Really dirty. Looks, oh, we got some damage right here. That is the R button. We also got a crack right down here on the case. Also, the charge port doesn't look great. So not sure about this one. Let's move on to number three. And number three is another Nintendo DS Lite. Another one in really nice condition. And most importantly, the hinges aren't cracked. Hopefully the screens are good on these. A lot of times these ones with kind of the clear on the outside get really gross, but this one actually is in pretty good condition. These little rubber pieces here are pretty discolored, but overall, Pretty good condition for number three. Number four is a Nintendo 3DS XL. Also looks to be in good condition. It's definitely dirty, but overall, not too bad. And number five is a turquoise Nintendo 3DS. Also good condition overall. And for number five, we have a blue Nintendo 3DS XL. Pretty dirty, but decent condition other than that. For number seven, we have this beautiful blue Nintendo 3DS. Looks like it's been barely even used. These are all supposedly salvage condition, which means they should be broken. But as you know, if you've been here for a while, doesn't necessarily mean they are. And number eight is the Year of Luigi Nintendo 3DS XL Special Edition. Another really cool handheld and in pretty good condition as well. But the next one is by far my favorite in this whole lot. So take a look at this beauty. This is in basically perfect condition. No scratches on the screen. We've got a few little marks on the hinge here. One little mark up here. But other than that, it is in really, really nice condition. This is the Zelda Special Edition Nintendo 3DS XL. Out of all the handhelds in this lot, I really hope I can fix this one, but let's check them all out now and see what all's wrong with them. But before we get to that, I'd like to tell you about today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Some of their class topics include illustration, graphic design, photography, UI UX design, creative writing, animation, fine art, music and music production, film and video, marketing, productivity, freelance and entrepreneurship, web development and crafts. Some of my favorite class topics I've seen so far are the freelance and entrepreneurship topics as well as marketing and film and video. One of the classes I just noticed and I can't wait to take is called Video for Instagram, Tell an Engaging Story in Less Than a Minute by Halice Narvaez. I'm pretty sure I didn't get that last name correctly, but it still looks like a good class. I'm used to telling stories in 10 to 20 minute YouTube videos, so learning how to tell an engaging story in less than a minute sounds like the perfect class I need for my Instagram channel. Now I've been loving Skillshare and I've already learned so much and I think you're gonna love it too. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Now let's get back to the video. So next I'm gonna go through and test each one and see if we can diagnose what the problem is and then we'll get to the repairs. And here we have number one. I did notice that this DSi has a crack in the hinge. I was thinking it didn't, but but clearly it does. Let's first see if it'll turn on. 
Oh, wow, it really does. Let's see if it plays a game. No, oh, pulling up the game, that's good. <laughs> Clearly, this is a great game I chose to test it. This is the only game I could find. Real manly game we got going on here. But overall, this thing seems to work just fine. Let's see if it charges. And there we go, it does take a charge. So this one obviously does have this broken hinge here. I'm debating whether I should replace that. I don't think I have the part. If I have the part here, then I'll go ahead and replace it. So I'll look and see if I have this part. If I do, then I'll go ahead and replace it a little bit later in the video. But for now, let's move on to number two. And number two is this 2DS XL. Let's see if it'll turn on. Oh, got a low battery, let's plug it in. Okay, now we're showing charging. Okay, and the game slot works. So I think the main problem with this one is just the overall dirtiness of it. And then we also have this little problem right here. So I'm gonna get this lower case replaced along with this button and then we'll give it a good cleaning. And this would probably be the R button that looks like it broke off the motherboard. Let's take a look at that and hopefully that's something we can fix. And this right here is where that button goes. So I need to solder it back down like that. That's all we need for that one. I'm also missing this one right here. This will be much more difficult as all the little pads are torn off. So these little traces on the motherboard have been totally torn off of that one. I also don't see it anywhere on here. Let's get this thing under a microscope so we can really see what's going on down here. So now that I'm in here, I see several more problems. So this is the first problem. There's actually several problems here. One is that all of the mounting pins have been just totally torn off the board. So once I get this new switch on here, I've got to figure out a way to make it stay on the board and make it secure on here and make it as secure as possible. And then I also need to connect this trace to this middle pin. That part won't be a problem. It's just the mounting part that's gonna be difficult. Then once we move over to this next switch right here, I think you can see the problem down here. This middle pin is not connected. This pin is not connected. This trace down here is also disconnected. It's been broken. So this button isn't working either. And then we have this button. This is the one that I found after I took it apart. So we have this button and this one actually should be pretty easy to fix. And this button is how they are supposed to look. It's supposed to be nice and secure. And all of these little pins are also secured properly. So now that I see how much work needs to be done to this board, I'm gonna remove it from the console so I just have better access to these soldering points. Now that I've got the motherboard out, we're in a much better position to get the soldering done. So that is where it needs to sit. We've got to figure out how we're going to get it mounted in there though. I think we can use this pin and this pin and maybe scrape away some of this coating right here and right here. Maybe get enough there that we can mount that on there.
So I ended up having to fix three buttons on this one. This is the first button. We got it mounted on these edges, so it's on here nice and strong. And then we had to repair this trace from here over to here. Then this second button right here. The main problem with that is we had a break in the trace from here over to here. So I just took a piece of wire and went from this part over to the motherboard here. And then there was also a break in the solder over here that I went ahead and repaired. And now that one is on there nice and strong. And thirdly, we had to fix this one. This was the one that I found in the case when I removed it. Luckily, this one is a pretty easy fix. Just had to mount it right here, fix this mount over here so it got connected to the motherboard a little bit better, and then solder on all these three points right here. This button over here is in good shape. Now that we've got these button fixed, we can get it back in and see if it works. So we've got number two fixed, at least I think. Let's turn it on and see if all those buttons work. All right, well, it does charge still, that's good news. Let's see if it turns on. Okay, good so far. So, left button works, right button works, right shoulder works, and left shoulder works. Great news. So this one is almost done. I just gotta give it a good cleaning and then we'll be done with console number two. And there was a couple of those little spots, one right here that wouldn't come off. But overall, that's looking so much better. And I think it's time to move on to number three. Number three is this really nice looking pink one. Let's see if it turns on. Oh, we got a green light, okay. Wow, great news so far. So it's already all set up. So let's try a game in it. Finally found another game to test these with. And there we go. Okay, let's try the front game slot. Okay, and the front game slot also works. So I will need to do a little bit more testing on this, but right now I don't see any problems at all with this. So let's move on to number four. For number four, we've got this pretty good condition red Nintendo 3DS XL. Let's see if it'll turn on. Okay, this one's got a dead battery. We can fix that real quick. Oh, here we go. And it does come up. Sound is good. Let's check the game slot. So, so far everything on this 3DS XL is looking great. I'm gonna take the back cover off and check the battery and see if it's bulged out. If not, it probably just needs a charge and then it'll be good to go. And there's the battery. It's maybe got a tiny, well, not really even a bulge at all. So I'm gonna get this on the charger charge it up and I think this one will be fine. I will test things like the Wi-Fi and get it all the way reset off camera. And if there's any problems there, I'll just bring it back and show you guys what I did. But number four is good to go. Let's move on to number five. For number five, we have this turquoise Nintendo 3DS. Let's see if it'll power on. And no power. Let's try it with the charge cable plugged in. It does show a charge light here, good news. Still no power. I'm gonna get a known good battery and put in this one, and then we'll see if it'll start up after that. So far, these have been some pretty easy fixes other than that 2DS XL. So while I do like that, I hope we have some that are a little more difficult 
give you guys some good entertainment. So let's put that in. Now let's see if it'll turn on. Okay, blue light, good news so far. I see power to the top screen. Come on. Oh yeah, there we go. L and R buttons work. Let's put a game in it. Okay, we don't get anything there. So it looks like we got a bad game reader on this one. That's pretty common with these 3DSs. So I'm gonna take a look at the game slot and see if it looks like it's dirty or if there are any bent pins and it just showed up. So I'm guessing we got some dirty pins. So I'll show you how I fixed that. So all I do for dirty pins is saturate a Q-tip in isopropyl alcohol and then saturate these pins on the game card. Really good, you need a lot of it on here. Won't do any damage, we'll blow some air in there when we're done, just to dry it all out. That's why I use IPA so much, because it's very quick drying. Okay, that should be enough. Now I'm just gonna push this back in here. And I'm just gonna go in and out for several minutes. And now I'm gonna dry out the game slot. Dry off the game. And here we go. Okay, powered on. Let's push the game in. And there we go. So the game slot now seems to be working properly. Now also let's try it with another game, just to make sure it works with any game. And there we go. So we're gonna call this one fixed. Let's move on to number six. And number six is this pretty good condition, blue Nintendo 3DS XL. Great thing about this one is the hinges are not cracked. It's pretty rare to find these that are used that don't have cracked hinges. So I'm actually pretty happy about this. But let's see if it turns on and if the other functions work. Oh, blue light right away. Okay. Definitely got a dirty screen here. We know how to clean those though. Okay, and the cameras even work. Let's test a game in it. Okay, and that comes up right away. Let's put another game in. That one also comes up right away. Let's put a DS game in. And that one comes up right away. Since the battery is almost full, I don't think we have to worry about the charge function, but I'm gonna test it anyways and the charge function works normally. So other than testing the internet and a few other little things, number six looks pretty good. Let's get the screens cleaned on this and then get the label on the outside cleaned and number six will be ready to go. Now I always get lots of comments on my videos from people asking where I sell this stuff. If you're interested in buying any of the things in my videos, I always offer anything I sell to my Patreon subscribers and YouTube channel members first. So if you would like to get first notice of anything I'm selling, you can become either one of those and you will get a notice of anything that I'm selling. And number seven is this beautiful blue Nintendo 3DS. Let's open it up and see if it turns on. Okay, and we have no power on this one. Let's plug it in and see if it charges. All right, and we got the charge light right here. Let's see if it'll turn on now. Still no power. Let's put a known good battery in it and then test it again. Mm, 
Now let's see if it'll turn on. Okay, we already got the blue light, that's good news. Come on, there we go. Okay, and this one has been reset already. So I need to get this all set up. Then we can test the other functions and it also needs a good cleaning. So it looks like number seven is in working condition other than the dead battery. Right about now is when a lot of people start wondering where I got these things from and why so many are working. I buy a lot of stuff from liquidation websites. So many of these places don't have time to really test things thoroughly to see what's wrong or if anything's wrong. If they pull this out, press the power button and it doesn't come up, then some of them will just call it salvage and sell it as such. So that's why some of these work fine, even though they are marked as salvage. Wow, look at how good that looks. This one is just in such nice condition. But now it's time for number eight. And for number eight, we have our first special edition. It's the Year of Luigi special edition. Also in pretty good condition. Let's take care of this sticker on the front first. And now that that's done, let's see if it'll turn on. And of course, no power. There is a charge indicator, good news. And it still won't turn on. So I'm gonna get a known good battery, put that battery in and see if that'll fix it. We got a blue light. Okay, and great news so far. Oh, we got kind of a sticky button right here. This button right here is a little sticky. So we need to take care of that. Okay, this one works good. Okay, and this game also works. So everything so far is looking good. We need to give it a good cleaning and then take care of this right shoulder button. And there's also a very sticky X button, so we need to take care of that as well. And also, I just noticed what's probably the source of the stickiness. We've got some sticky residue right here. So we may need to do some more cleaning on the inside, and I'm hoping there's no motherboard damage. But let's get it apart and find out. So with our first look at the motherboard, the great news is that I don't see major liquid damage. I do see a little bit of residue here, but other than that, I don't see anything too major. So now I got to get the board out of the console, then we can turn the board over and clean anything there and also clean up all the buttons. And now with the board removed, we can remove the button pads and the buttons. So really, this is the only button that's really super sticky. These actually look nice and clean. Let's check this one over here. Yep, this one is fine as well. Yep, and same here. So really, the only button that needs to be cleaned is this one. I'll clean up these other buttons since I have them out, but they're in great shape. Even the button pads, there's just no dirt or debris at all on the button pads themselves either. So I'll get this button cleaned, and then we'll take a look at that right shoulder button. And that is much better. We got all the sticky stuff off. Now we can get this back on and work on that shoulder button.
and it's kind of hard to see, but this is the part that's sticky on this button, this little part and this little part. So I'm gonna clean up this whole button and hopefully that's all we need to do on that. Okay, and there we go. Well, let's put it back together and see if that fixed it. Now both of these work nice and free, and it's time to put this thing back together. Also, I did check the motherboard and there's absolutely no liquid on the motherboard, so the motherboard is good to go. Now that we're done with number eight, let's move on to the best handheld console of the lot, number nine. I really hope there's nothing serious wrong with this one. I'm gonna get the sticker cleaned off and then we'll give it a test and see if we can figure out why it won't turn on. There we go, and look at that. This thing is just beautiful. There's just barely even any scratches on this thing. Okay, it does charge. That's good news. Let's see if it'll turn on. Nope, so let's try it with a known good battery. Also, I do wanna see what it looks like under this cover. That'll give us a hint as to whether there's any other major problems. And once again, just basically perfect condition. But will it start up with a good battery in it? Okay, come on. Here we go. Blue light, great news. But are the screens gonna work? Come on. Yes. 3D slider works, volume slider works. L and R buttons work. Let's check the camera. Yes. No buttons are sticky, they all feel great. Let's see if it'll play games. Yes. So I've just got a few more things to check. This one is in perfect working condition so far. It's in almost perfect physical condition. I'm not even sure if I can sell this one. If I do decide to sell it, I will offer it to my Patreon supporters and channel member supporters first, as I do with most of the things that I repair on this channel. If you like this video, you'll probably like the video where I fixed 44 broken Nintendo handhelds. I'll put that video up on your screen now. If you'd like to come over and check that out, don't forget that the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click on the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a good one.